Hello guys, this is Ali Salanki and today we'll be talking about how to make your own website using Notion and Super. By the way, for this entire tutorial, you do not need to have any kind of coding knowledge and you just have to follow along. In this particular section, we'll be following these four steps, which is downloading Notion. If you haven't used Notion before, you can download it over here. Uh, then duplicating my portfolio website, which is this particular website. So if you've ever landed on alisolanki.com, which is always there on the pin comment. Uh, so you will actually land on this particular website, which I've made using Notion and Super itself. So you would be able to create something like this and uh, deploy it on your own domain. Apart from that, you can customize Customize it according to your needs. Of course, you won't have a portfolio website saying my name. Uh, so you can customize it. You can set up every single thing. You can design it according to your needs and then set it up using Super. So let's start with the second step. Uh, I assume you've already downloaded Notion from this website. So by the way, all the links are down in the description box below. So you can go check them out. The second step is to duplicate my portfolio website. How do you duplicate it, right? So for that, you would have to go over to this website, which is down again in the description box below so let me just uh, share this website and if you just copy this uh, website URL and paste it in your browser you would land up on the notion site now this is the site that we will be duplicating and we'll be converting it to something like this and have this nav bar have a, a footer with all my links uh, my social media links and every single thing so uh, let's go over here and duplicate this thing and once you press on that button you will be taken over to your notion website right so over here you can uh, play around with it and change every single thing so let me just change this name and last name uh, you can even change this uh, profile picture so i'll just keep it to a watermelon for now uh, or maybe water wave uh, apart from that you can change the cover so let me change it to this and um, apart from that you can change all the content so if you don't want these things which i assume you won't uh, so you can add a subtitle over here add of all of your links and this particular portfolio website that i had made is specifically for journalist people who are doing a lot of different things and want to show all the things that they are doing so if you are doing a bunch of things you can basically just list it over here and keep adding all these different content apart from that i would highly recommend you to have your own previous work section in your portfolio website a previous work section or an experience section makes a ton of difference when uh, clients see your portfolio website so make sure you add that as well apart from that there are some links and this is all that we have now one thing that you would notice is this particular website is not made for uh, mobile uh, it is not responsive in nature so let me just show this to you so if i just collapse it down you would see that the text kind of uh, goes down it's all over the place and the website does not look good and uh, you would not want to put this website in production so what do you do for this for that just press on share uh, click on share to web and then uh, put in all these details if you want editing to be there if you want comments to be there and all of these different things uh, just copy this particular website and then just go over to super.so which is app.super.so and over here you can add your own notion websites so click on add new site and over here you can name your site whatever you want i'll just name it as portfolio website and then uh, select the notion page url which is this particular one which you had copied so copy this paste it over here and then press on continue now this uh, super site will actually take care of everything so it will be optimized for mobile users as well and if they land on this particular website they will be able to see a very beautiful uh, looking website it will have a custom navigation bar over here as you can see uh, it will have footers it will have every single thing so uh, let me show you how you can customize it according to your needs so the first thing that we'll be going over is to the theme section right so i don't want this bright theme to be uh, popping up over here so let me just change this theme to blackout okay so this is the theme that i've used for my portfolio website as well so it is uh, live over here and uh, just press on save after that, uh, the next thing that we can change is the custom navigation bar. So I don't like this navigation bar right now. So I'll keep it uh, to say simple. No, simple is too simple. 
uh, I'll keep it to minimal. And then over here, there are a bunch of links that you can add. Uh, I'll just add a URL. So let me add in say courses. And then if you have your own courses, if you have your own um, social media sites, whatever you have, you can add it over here. I'll just add this courses part. And then you can see this button pop out over here so you can add as many links as you want apart from that we have the logo section so you can add your own logo but i don't want to do that instead i'll just add an emoji and get done with it uh, apart from that you can change the font size and then we can go down and change some styles as well so if you don't want the background to be so dark you can keep it to say something like uh, this this looks good uh, the text color if you want to change it I'll just keep it uh, to what it is right now the height and then visible all on scroll visible be basically means if you scroll down through the website should it be visible or not so I want it to be visible so it will be stuck to the top section uh, apart from that shadow should be there so I'll keep it to say small and then some opacity to it so that's it and then there's some call to action and uh, some URLs that you can add over here as well. So if you don't want links, so over here we had added some links, right? So if you don't want links, instead you want uh, to add a call to action over there, you can do that as well. So you will just have one button. So just like I have on my website of this courses button, you can have that over here as well. So let me just put it as courses and then the URL should be this. So you can set your own background color, text color and uh, be done with it. So let me just save this particular website and then go back. So apart from that, you can even add your custom footer, which is the bottom part of any website that you see. So I won't be going deep into it, but I'll just add say one stack and over here I'll go down and add in my social media links. So say for example, I want to add my Instagram page. So I'll just add in say Instagram.com slash Ali Solanki, right? So once you add that, you will see all these logos pop out over here and you can even add your own footer. So it is made by Ali Solanki 2022. So you can add all of these things. I don't want to uh, dwell deep into it, but uh, you can explore this page by yourself. Now, cool thing about this, especially for coders, they can actually go ahead and add their own particular codes to this website and change it to however they like. They can add their own CSS files, their own HTML files in the body section, their own headers and footers. So all of that is available over here. The last two things that I want to touch upon is first, I want to show you how to set up your own domain over here and the second thing is how to set up multiple pages for this website so let's go over to the first thing that we were talking about which is the domains part so over here i want to set it up as say portfolio website right so portfolio website and then just save it and if you go over to portfolio website dot super dot site uh, on your own browser you would be able to see this particular web page right so this is something that i had created just a couple of seconds back and it's completely live uh, apart from that you can even set your own custom domain but for that you would have to pay uh, i think it is around 12 dollars per month uh, so yes it is 12 dollars per site per month so if you want to have your own custom domain you would have to pay for that the next thing that I want to show is the pages section where you can add multiple different pages. So in any website, you don't have just one page, rather you have multiple pages. So over here, I'll show this thing by adding a contact us page, right? So for that, let me go over to my notion page. So this was a notion and uh, over here in the bottom part, I'll add a new page. So this is a page and contact me. Okay, so this is a page that I want to create and uh, say for example, the mail ID is alisolanki123 at the rate gmail.com. Now I don't have to do anything else. You can directly just go over to your super site, uh, go back and just refresh this page. Uh, so this contact us page would come down at the bottom. 
and there you can see this contact me page already popping up you can click over there and see your page also so uh, let me go over to the pages section and uh, this new page should be available so as you can see home page and then there's this contact me page you can add multiple different pages like this and uh, be done with it right so this is how you actually set up your own portfolio website or any website that you want with notion and super.so